Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell also so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So let's get into today's business. If you find yourself recording videos just like myself, there are chances or possibilities that you may have to use scripts in your videos. But how do you go about scripting? There are lots of sophisticated tools out there that can actually help you um, script or use scripts in your videos. But this tool comes at a very high or extra cost that you may probably not want to spend that much just because you want to use scripts in your videos. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually turn your smartphone into a teleprompter and then use that as part of your video so that you can easily read your script without um, spending so much. So without much ado, let's get into it. So aside the mobile phone which you are going to need to serve as a teleprompter, we need a few other things. So we need a mobile phone mount as well as a horseshoe which you are going to attach it to the mobile phone mount and then mount it on top of the camera so we'll be able to place our phone in it. Also we need a mobile app so there's one available on Play Store for free which goes by the name Simple Teleprompter. That will be what I'll be using in this particular um, demonstration. So if you know of any which is available for iOS you can share with me in the comment section below and then I'll check them out and try my possible best to record the video on that as well. So let's go ahead and get into the process. Let's go ahead to download the teleprompter app so I'll go ahead and then launch my Play Store and then in the search bar I'll search for simple teleprompter. So that's the first option here. I'll go ahead and then tap on it and then I'll go ahead and open it because I already have it installed on my phone. Once I open it, it gives you a blank interface where it creates a new document and then simple teleprompter, that's the name of it. So you might want to tap on the create new document and then if you already have your file as a text file on your phone, you can go ahead and then select yes to import it. If not, you can tap on no and then enter your script in here. So one useful way you can go about the script is you might probably have your script entered in let's say a Word document file. So you might copy it from there, come here, tap and hold on um, your on the screen for some few seconds and then you go ahead and then paste it and then it gives you your script here. You give it a title, um, that's a name or a title. So let me just type something here. And once you're done, you go ahead and then hit on save and start. But you, before you even go ahead and hit on save and start, there are some few settings I would want us to have a look at. So when we tap on the settings section, um, it comes, uh, let's take a look at some of the things we have in here. So first of the option, we have um, under display, we have mirror. So in case you want to mirror, mirror basically turns your um, the phone in a different way in case you are using mirror so that you, you can actually read through the mirror, but that's not the option we want. And um, you can go ahead and change the font size that is appropriate for you. You can also set the font um, type that you want to use. And then you can set the line spacing as well. So you can increase the line spacing or decrease, uh, decrease it. You can also go ahead to change the orientation in case you want um, that landscape or portrait, you can go ahead to change that. And then if you want it to automatically start once you, yeah, you hit on save and start, it's, you can ch check this particular option and then start that for you. And then you can also change the scroll speed as well. So in case you want to change the rate at which it goes, you can go ahead to change that. Now one is the very, um, is the slowest. If you increase it, it's going to in um, increase the pace at which it goes a bit. And then you can change the background color of the test. You can change the test color. As well, you can test to see how that is going to be. So this is the pace at which it is likely to move or go when I, I, I have my script and then I tap on save and start. Now let's take a look at how to mount the phone to the top of the camera. So once you, you are done, I actually have two um, mounts here, but I'll be using this one. Once you are done, all you have to do is to mount the um, horseshoe to the um, the phone mount so I'm just going to screw this to it and then let me just make sure I screw this so that it becomes firm so once you're done you have something like this and then because this has um, it's a form of a peg you can just open it and then place the phone inside let me just uh, so you place the phone inside and then you mount the section on top of the camera and then you screw this to make sure it is firmly um, fitted so that it doesn't shake or move and that's just about it. So you go ahead and you launch your teleprompter up and um, you start recording and you start rolling. Because I have one camera at the moment, I took a picture with my phone of how the mount looks when it is fitted on top of the camera. So from the top view, as well as the side views. 
So there you have it. That's how you can actually convert your smartphone to use it as a teleprompter to be able to read your script for your video. So the app is free on Play Store. That is a simple teleprompter app. And for iOS users, I'm sure there should be alternatives for you that I don't know about yet. So in case you know of any, all you have to do is to just um, let me know in the comment section so that I'll, I can maybe talk about them in a different videos. So if you are new, all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell as well. So anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Eshimo Lamte and I'll see you in the next one.